Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Olu Kotun Samuel Lamidi. On today's tutorial, just calm down. I have a lot of goodies for you. So on today's tutorial, I want to share with you a story. If you don't know the story, you are entitled to lose almost everything in your tongue. Do you want to work for a very long time and somebody will just come? Pack your money away because you don't have the right information. So just calm down and relax yourself. Today, not today, I have better news for you that is going to save you from losing a lot of money. All right. So on this YouTube channel, we try as much as possible to solve POS transaction issues and also business wahala. So on today's episode, I'll be sharing a story with you. Just listen carefully to this story so that you will not fall victim. Okay. In 2024, a customer came to an agent to perform a transaction, of course. How much is the transaction? Just one million era. What happened? This is the story. When the customer walked into the agent early in the morning, the customer told the agent, I want to make a withdrawal of one million era. The agent being excited, one million era. And of course, the agent has the cash. So the agent, the first thing that came to the agent was, how much do I charge for this transaction? Ah, one million is not small money. How much will I charge this customer? So the agent decided to first think about the charges. So the agent concluded, oh God, for this one million, I will charge you 50,000. Now to the agent's surprise, the customer was like, okay, 50,000, let's do this transaction. And the agent was surprised. This man gave a price. I've been in the waiting the app for Okay. So, now, the agent, of course, interested in getting the 50,000, of course, the agent has the 1 million. But one thing I'm going to expose in this story, just stay to the end of this video. Now, the transaction was done, and after three months, some police agency came and bubbled the agent, took him to the police station, and investigation started. They said, in 2014, you did a transaction of 1 million era, kidnapper speed you 1 million era. And you were part of the kidnapped team. And now the agent is surprised. 2014 kidnapper. I've never done such a thing. I've never received such amounts from kidnappers. Now let's go back to the story. What happened was that when the customer came to the agent, the customer has gone around. The customer is a part of a kidnapping crew. So when the customer came to the agent, the customer told the agent, um, I was sending an account number to you. It is through this account number, a transfer will be done. All right. So when the transfer is done to your account, I'll get my cash and I'll give you a 50000 All right. In order to correct the story, that means the customer wants to withdraw. And the customer is going to get the agent's account number and send it to the person that is going to make the transfer. That means the agent doesn't even know where the money is coming from. But like I said, 50000 is a big money. So the first thing that came to the agent's mind is my permission on how much I will charge. Instead of settling down and understand what is happening, is this transaction a true transaction or is it a fraudulent ad? So the agent, of course, 50K for Niger. So he decided to eh, oh my, my charges first instead of checking what's in the apple. So now the customer, like I say, is a member of a kidnap crew. So instead of receiving the payments directly into the account, they will look out for you guys, though, US owners, and as be their target, number one target, because there is no way they can trace them. His name is not there. He did not collect any details from me. Once anything is up, now you can carry. So immediately the customer came. The customer deceived the agent with that charges and talk. Now, why are open shop now? So when the transfer was made, the transfer was made directly into the agent's account. And the agent paid the customer the one million, collected charges. And customer even had 10,000 then and said, hey, I like the way you do. Uh -huh. You do fine, don't stress me. Now, while well, I don't stop, they don't carry agent. So why did I share the story is that as an agent, you have to understand that you are a middleman between two persons, two parties. So you must always be smart. You must always be ahead of your customers. You should not allow great takeover your business. So ask questions. When the customer comes to make a transaction, ask questions. When the transaction is not a normal transaction, you want to withdraw one million, why you no go back? Don't allow greed to take over. Somebody wants to withdraw one million, why they're not going to the bank? 
to get the value. Ask questions. When you are receiving transfer from a third party, ask more questions, get details. If you are not satisfied, don't do the transaction. No be, no be that one, no make you die since all these days. You don't need trouble before that transaction comes. So relax yourself, do your business. Money Point is ready to serve you well. Money Point is ready to cooperate with you as long as you play smart. We know for a thing. If all that stuff, we know the All right, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribing to this YouTube channel is going to encourage us to make more, more videos. And also, like this YouTube channel, liking this YouTube channel, you are directly telling your God again. I bet show this story to a lot of people, made a no go for victim and drop comments on the comment section. You don't fall victim before, you get one smart technique that they use now. I bet share them with us for the comment section. Cheers, guys. My name is Lucas Samu. God bless.